Hello everyone, Argon Matrix here, welcome to episode 5 of Let's Play The Wind Waker. Last time we left off in a very precarious situation here with this stupid moblin who walks in a P pattern. Yeah, the letter P, I mean, of course. <laughs> Where he's, he's like walking up the stem of the P now, and then he's gonna go in like a square at the top, and that's the bubble on top of the P. That's what I mean. If you keep if you keep in mind that he has a pattern like that, then you shouldn't be too hard to sneak. Sneak past. <laughs> that was way too close. I I was legitimately not expecting him to notice me. Anyways, we made it past him, so just hug the walls tight there and never let go. And then you should make it past just fine. Just really swell and dandy. <laughs> and that was funny. I just went totally silent as soon as I heard that sound. I was I was so shocked. Oh my god. Alright, is there anything down here for me anyways? Uh is that a different guy over there? Or is that the same one? I can't even tell. Uh, dude, those rupees respawned. Cool. Alright. Oh yeah, there is this shortcut, though. Be sure to push this crate down before you just go jumping haphazardly down into the pit. Or down to this ledge, I guess. Because if you don't, then you're just going to be really screwed. You're going to have to go in this whole big circle back around to the top. And it's just... Oh, it's just a lot easier for everyone if you push that crate down before. So that allows us access to the third and final spotlight, which we actually don't need to take out, I don't think. But it's, I guess, since it's here, might as well. Dude, don't miss. Okay. Yeah, this is the other strategy that I, ha that, that I never showed off, is to use your shield like that, and you can steal this guy's weapon. Dude, that actually do a spin attack with a Deku stick, seriously? Cool. Yeah. Some, some might say that this strategy is better than using the one with the pots, because this way he doesn't have any weapon to fight you with at all. He has no chance of having a weapon. And, uh, yeah, so he's totally helpless. It's a lot easier, actually. Not that it was overly hard in the first place, but still. Alright. And now that we have this handy-dandy shortcut, we can just get right back up here. When you come back here later in the game, this shortcut is not as useful as the other one that we unlocked. But I think you might still be able to use it a little bit. I'm not too sure if you ever go around this area. Oh, but that's going to be fun. That's not going to be until way later in the game, though, so don't worry about that for now. Oh, yeah, and to add to this whole stealth section, we've got this, the sidle along the wall here. Oh, crossing the edge very sp spookily. I love how Link's eyes just, they just go at this perfect angle for looking down the wall. And when you actually go around a corner while doing this, you get this cool angle. This over-the-shoulder, third-person, kind of first... It's like third... I guess it's a second-person shot, I don't know. It's between first and third person. Oh. Yeah. And I think, like, there's one spotlight that if you don't take it out, then you can't get past this ledge here that I'm on. It's physically impossible to do it. I think it was the first spotlight that I took out when I came here. So, that's your reference, I guess. All right. Oh, what's happening? Oh my god, I'm happy! It's my sword! Yay! Finally, finally got it back! Uh-oh. Oh no, it's a boss! Crap. Well, actually, this is the easiest boss ever. Especially now that we've got our hero sword back. Now you're in business. Take care not to drop it again. No, I'm never gonna drop it again. I'm gonna hold it tight, I'm gonna love it and squeeze it and call it George. Yeah! Oh yeah, look at that. His head cranes to the side and everything. Oh, beautiful, we unlocked that big old door. And we got a rupee too, I just heard that. I didn't actually see the rupee. God, how often do you collect a rupee without even seeing it? Not too often, I can assure you of that. Whoa, this is a big room. And I'm so small in comparison. Jeez. Oh, squinting to look across the room and see my sister in a cage. Dude, let my sister out of that cage. She's not an animal. <laughs> Yay. Oh, it's finally, finally the reunion. Well, that wasn't too bad, I guess. Not too bad at all. Oh, no. <laughs> what are you doing here? Sure, now you notice me. When I finally break into your stronghold. Wait, what are you doing? Oh, c oh come on! Ugh. What is your s problem? Oh, you can hear Link just shrieking in pain. 
Oh my god. Everything just went to crap. We were right, just like a fingertip away from saving our sister. And now look at where we are, in the clutches of this stupid bird. The monstrous Helmerot King. That's that bird's actual name, by the way. You might find that out later. Right. Whoa. Who's this guy? He's got a scary robe, that's all I know. And a spooky talisman. Alright. Wait, 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 no, no, no! Oh, shit. <laughs> he just threw me halfway across the... Oh. I, am I dead now? Oh, my God. <laughs> I'm dead! Look! Oh. Wait, what's this, though? Maybe all hope is not lost. Someone found us. Oh, jeez. What's gonna happen now, though? Argon. Argon. Wake up, Argon. Who is it that knows mine? Is it Grandma? She's like the only person I can think of that would know my name. Pull yourself together, Argon. Oh, jeez. It's daylight. There's birds flying overhead. Where the hell am I? At least I'm alive. That's all I can say. Wait, who was talking to me? There's no one else here. Oh, uh, was it that bird that flew overhead? Well, have you come to your senses yet? Huh? What? You are surprisingly dull-witted. <laughs> Dude. I'm not surprised by the fact you can talk. I'm surprised by how big your nose is. Did I startle you? I suppose that is only natural. As wise as the world is, I am the only boat upon it who can speak the words of men. I am the king of red lions. Do not fear. I am not your enemy. Argon. I have been watching you since you went to the Forsaken Fortress to rescue your sister, Hoot Hoot. I understand how your desire to protect your sister could give you the courage to fearlessly stand up to anything, but such a bold attempt was foolhardy. I suppose you saw him, the shadow that commands that monstrous bird. Yup. Who was that guy? He didn't seem to care. His name is... Ganon! Oh, but... No way, I dealt away with that guy two episodes... two Let's Plays ago. He who obtained the power of the gods attempted to cover the land in darkness and was ultimately sealed away by the very power he hoped to command. He is the very same Ganon, but much fatter. He, the emperor of the Dark Realm and the ancient legends speak of. I do not know why the seal of the gods has failed, but now that Ganon has returned, the world is once again f being threatened by his evil magic. By his doo-doo magic. Tell me, Argon, do you still wish to save your sister from him? You know it. And will you do anything to save her? You know it. You know it. I see. In that case, I shall guide you as we go forward, advising you on what you should do and where you must go. Again, it cannot be defeated by human hands, little by, let alone by what little strength you possess. Hey dude, watch it! I'm a feisty one. The key to defeating Ganon is locked away in a great power that you can only wield after much toilet and hard shit. Do you understand? Show thing. In that case, we depart to the Great Sea. Ah, but I am getting ahead of myself. Well, this ought to be good. This is actually a bit embarrassing for me to admit, but although I am, indeed, a boat that possesses the power of speech, I possess no sail. And a boat with no sail can sail no seas. Well, damn. I have brought you far to the east of the Dark Gaze of the Forsaken Fortress. On this island is a town of merchants who deal in a wide variety of goods. If you search hard enough, surely you can find one who will sell you a sail and a heart piece or two. Maybe a treasure chart. I'm getting ahead of myself, though. I am sorry to ask this of you, but without a sail, I will be useless to you. Like caramel. Uh, name that reference. This is Island of Merchants is home to many valuable goods. While the sale must come first, do not feel limited to buying only it. Once you have it, feel free to stock up on anything else you think you may need. But remember, there is no time to dilly-dally. Come back here immediately as soon as your errands are done. T my errands? Seriously? Way to put an emphasis on the fact that it's not playtime. Come on. <laughs> oh, yeah. It's funny that, it'll s that he says it's no time to play. I mean, it's a video game and a Let's Play after all. Well, this is Windfall Island. And... This is probably the island you're actually going to be coming to most in the game. In fact, we might spend the next, like, one or two videos just on this island doing stuff. I don't even know. What time? Uh, ten minutes. Okay, so I have a bit of time to do stuff. 
God, but there's just so much to do. So many places to explore, and I only have a certain amount of time that I have to do it. Alright, this is the bomb shop, though. This would be the bomb shop. Go and use that to look around. Alright, ten bombs for 10,000 rupees? What? Are they made of gold or something? Are they made of lapis lazuli? I didn't call for you, boy. I didn't call for you, boy. Well, that's not why I'm here. Okay, dude, go peddle your stuff somewhere else. Seriously. Oh my god, maybe that family in Kakariko Village will buy your stuff. Alright, there's this guy. What is he what is he doing? So, I'm feeling pretty good. Why? Because I got recently got myself a pet pig. Three, in fact. I got a black spot pig, too. How often do you see one of those? Not often, chum. Oh god, there's so much text to read, I'm losing saliva here. I've led him ashore to graze over yonder. Okay, I'm not reading the rest of that text, because that first sentence was the stupidest thing I've ever read in my life. <laughs> oh, I've led him ashore to graze over yonder. Can you possibly mo be more ye oldy? Alright, sorry dude, I didn't mean to hit you in your toupee. You don't look familiar at all, buddy. Are you doing some are you some kind of tourist or something? If you are, I'll show you around. Why don't you join me for a little stroll around town? Because I have heart pieces to get. Our Windfall Island may be a little cozy, so to speak, but people from all over the world come here. This town's always lively. Ha ha. Why are you just walking around and having things to look at? That is quite fun. That's the mark of a great town. Well dude. Just because New York has a million things to look at doesn't mean it's the best place in the world to live. Well, look at this guy. What is he doing? He's got like a... I don't even want to say what that amulet looks like. Jeez. Oh. No, that's not it. That's not it! And the problem is, even though that's not it, this isn't it either. Oh dear, pardon me! PARDON ME, GUY! I was so fully and wholly absorbed by my dancing that I didn't even notice little old you standing there. I am taught. I love dancing more than I love three meals a day. You will come to know me as the world's charismatic dancer extraordinaire. I'm so sure. Ready, guy? One, two, one, two, one, two, three, four, one, two. Say, guy, do you know what I was just reminded of? Long ago, I met this delightful little guy who performed the most dazzling magic dance. A dance that turned night into day before my very eyes. Oh, who have we known that does that before? I can remember the, the, those fabulous dance moves, but I just can't seem to get that intricate rhythm down. You can't get those, those groove moves down? Well, I'm sorry to hear that. Maybe I can help you later. Here's the guy's black, black spotched pig that he was talking about before, by the way. Oh... Just to anger him, let's just do that. Ha! Huh. What of your pig now? Look at it. Oh my god, that's silly. It's just this one tiny spot of pink in an otherwise blue screen. Alright, this door, you're going to want to head here relatively soon once you get to the island. Just because you want to get it out of the way. Because we're going to see a familiar face here, but it's not a face that you want to be familiar with. It's Tingle! He's back from the mask! Oh boy. Oh jeez. I gave this guy a British accent in Majora's Mask 2. I don't know if I should stay true to that or not. I don't think so. Hmm? The, I see the same green clothes and the same green hat. By the look of you, I'd say, Sir, could you by chance be a fairy? Goodness! Did you feel my telepath out? Voice is totally not working. That's just rape on your ears. That's why you saved me, isn't it? Isn't it? Isn't it? Do not worry. Tingle knows without you telling him. Sir, yes, sir. Sir, may I have some more, sir? Tingle is my name. I have been looking for you and your kind, for I, too, long to be one of the fairy folk. Do, are you still obsessed on that? And you're still wearing those rank red shorts. How disrespectful. Please, Mr. Fairy. It sounded like he was talking to me there for a second. Rescue poor Tingle from this place and take him to where, to where you and your kind live in splendor. Sure, I'll take you to Never Never Land. Then I'll never, never see you again. Alright, so there's the switch. Oh, not very well hidden behind those pots. Seriously, they need to up their ante with these prisons, seriously. Hooray! Thank you oh so very much! Here is Tingle's heartfelt gift of thanks. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, what was that? 
That was just like... I don't know. He gave you the Tingle Tuner! If you get stuck or need a quick hint, connect to Game Boy Advance to your Nintendo GameCube to talk to Tingle. Dude, Link doesn't know what Nintendo GameCube is. Oh yeah, I might be able to use this Tingle Tuner thing later on, but right now I don't have the necessary equipment to do it. Now, no matter how far we travel from this dingy cell, our souls will be as one. Not until we play the Song of Healing. Splendid, Tingle is going to get, get ready... Go get ready to go to the realm of the fairies. So you just wait here, okay, sir? Oh yeah, I'm just gonna stand here in your nasty prison cell, waiting for eternity. I I was forgetting something important, Mr. Fairy. You want to come to my island, don't you? Don't you? Don't you? Uh, not particularly, but you got the Tingles chart. What kind of chart could it be? Head out to sea and press C up, not C up. Control pad up. And check your charts to find out. Sounds like I said check your tarts to find out. <laughs> Tingle's tart. When you go out to sea, open it. If you ever need any help with your charts, tarts, just leave it to Tingle. Don't ever forget it. Okay. If you ever need help with the tarts, <laughs> don't forget it. God. Is that gonna, serious? Am I seriously going to make that into a thing? Calling charts tarts? I hope not. That's the stupidest thing. 